So I'm the first person to admit that I'm not terribly magical. It's the Queen of Diamonds. No, no, no. But that's not going to stop me from trying to do a magic trick. But it's not a trick. It's science. So lots of people tell you that adding whiskey to water or water to whiskey is a terrible, terrible thing. Uh, but people who do that probably drive really big cars and wear cowboy hats. A cowboy hat means I'm ashamed of my small penis. Don't even ask me what this means. Adding water to whiskey is not a problem. It's not bad. It actually makes it taste a lot better. So to prove my point, which actually doesn't really prove the point, but that's beside the point, I'm going to show that water and whiskey, because of the density in their liquid, uh, change places. Because water is uh, a bit, well, you'll see in a second. So what I'll do, I don't want to waste any actually nice whiskey. There's a special rung in hell reserved for people who waste good scotch. If I spill it, I'm, I'm not going to cry. So I'm going to add this. I've already managed to spill it, which is not a great start. I think, so to make it work, you need to get it all the way to the top. And so then, take a card, put it on top of the water, take that upside down, and put it on top of the whiskey. And then, you open up a tiny little crack between them, and they should start changing places. I think, I think I've made this work. Magic. This is the tricky bit. I'm going to try to put the card back over enough and I can flip it without making too much of a mess. And there we go. That is how it's done. Thank you. That is disgusting. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't recommend Kenmore for anything other than doing whiskey magic tricks. If you're looking for a whiskey to drink, um, this is this is not the one to drink. But if you subscribe and you watch our other videos, we'll talk about whiskey that's much more potable. Hope you liked that. Uh, definitely subscribe. Uh, remember to give us a thumbs up and thanks for watching.